started to get lots of comments on my M1 Mac Mini Bluetooth issues video about Apple supposedly bricking the use of third-party keyboards. That is simply not the case. You just need to find a keyboard that's supported under the Mac Mini, under the M1 Mac Mini. Apple provides certain drivers that work with certain keyboards, and you just need to find that keyboard that works. Is there a list of drivers out there? Probably. Do I have that? No. Am I going to look for it? I think so after this video. If you don't want to splurge and spend that expensive price for an Apple keyboard, then you're left with using a third-party keyboard. As mentioned in previous comments on that M1 video, I had said I use the Magic Keyboard in a wired standpoint and wirelessly via Bluetooth. I've also used a Poseidon Z gaming keyboard, which is USB wired, and I have a Logitech wired keyboard that also works. Once you get in, plug in your USB, you configure the keyboard via the keyboard assistance screen that pops up as soon as you plug in the USB and you're off to the races. So I'm going to show everyone how to do that so that you can use a third party keyboard with your M1 Mac Mini. In showing what we're trying to accomplish here, I've got almost all the interfaces used up. So I've got two monitors, um, Ethernet, and then I'm using a USB A wireless mouse. And I also have a Thunderbolt plugged into a multi-purpose port replicator. It's got HDMI, a couple USB, a 3.0 and 2.0 ports, and a USB power, USB-C power port. So to establish what we're trying to accomplish here, the Magic Keyboard plugged into this port replicator and then I have Logitech keyboard plug into this port, this free USB-A port right here. So let's plug this USB-A into this free port. So now we're reviewing the monitor. If we go to the Bluetooth up in the top bar, you'll see that I have it off. That is to make sure that once we disconnect the Magic Keyboard, it is no longer connected. So for this test, we can unplug the Magic Keyboard, and that is done. We will keep the Logitech connected and we will go to System Preferences, Keyboard, Change Keyboard Type, Continue, and we want to hit Z to the right of Shift, and the question mark to the left of Shift on the other side of the keyboard, and hit Done. When we do that, our Logitech keyboard is now set up. As you can see, Caps Lock is on, so it is recognized in the Mac Mini. We will open up Chrome, go to apple.com, as you see it's in caps, let's turn off caps, apple.com, and we can get right there. If we open up text edit, we can cycle through the keys and determine that they are all working as they should be. Return. Even Backspace works as well. We can even use the arrow keys accordingly and use the delete key as well. The numbers on the keypad also work. So I've locked my screen and now I want to get back into it using the Logitech keyboard. So press enter. Type my password and I'm back in. So it works from a lock. Let's now do a reboot. If we reboot, 
we should also be able to log in as if any other computer. So we'll go to restart. We'll restart. And delete this. We're back in. Up here. And we can type using our log check keyboard to get back in. As you can see, setup of this Logitech keyboard through the Setup Assistant worked flawlessly. That's because Apple supplies a driver for this Logitech keyboard within its operating system. If your keyboard doesn't work, you need to go to the manufacturer's site and find the driver and download it, if one's available. If one's not available, then you need to get a different keyboard when using an M1 Mac Mini, or any Mac Mini for that matter. You just need to go to the site and grab the driver. Yes, the Magic Keyboard is expensive. I actually have three. I have three because I actually use them with my Windows machines because I think their Chiclet keys are the best. While this isn't a review about the Magic Keyboard, the Magic Keyboard is a great piece of hardware. Is it expensive? Absolutely. Is the black one more expensive than the silver one? Yes, it is. I think that has to do with how they paint or dye or However, they make the black over the white and silver. Space gray and black versus silver and titanium or aluminum. Are they worth the price? Uh, I guess that's really up to your pocketbook. Um, but I like them. I use them on PCs. I use them, they're interchangeable with the command and the Windows key. And they work great, obviously, on the Macs as well. But you don't need to get a Magic Keyboard for the Mac Mini. You can use any keyboard as long as a driver is available. I was lucky in the sense that this keyboard has a pre-installed driver. Not all of them are like that. And in the comments below, I've been noticing that people are coming up upset knowing that they can't use a third-party Bluetooth keyboard. I may make another video using a Bluetooth keyboard that's not the Magic Keyboard and test that out. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next one.